Here's the man-child, Pete. Now, I know a lot of you feel sorry for him. And, you know, the way he's talked about his depression, etc. But despite all of that, he remains a lazy, dirty, self-centred, arrogant, angry man. That's exactly what he is. And I, I've just been watching a little bit of this and I'll put a couple of clips in. I haven't watched all of it. But why do people who aren't religious, why do they feel the need to always blaspheme and make a mockery of those of us, those people who do have certain beliefs? I just don't understand it. Is it necessary? Does it make you feel? Does it make you appear more of an intellectual to have a closed and markedly limited mind? I don't know. In 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 my experience, people with closed minds are very very insular and decidedly stupid people. Who's this now? Come on, answer your comments. Picking and choosing, of course, what the answers. Lazy, dirty. No, Kucha. That bastard can pray to me. <sighs> Delightful. So angry at everything. Actually, technically, wasn't Jesus born out of wedlock? <gasps> wasn't he technically born out of wedlock? No. Wrong? It was an immaculate conception. It was a miracle. Nancy? You know Muslims consider Jesus to be a prophet as well, right, Nancy? Jesus was a prophet. I did read the Bible. I just... There's a lot I don't remember about it. Mm, it shows. Yeah, like, Muslims do consider Jesus to be one of the prophets, so when I make fun of Jesus, I am shit-talking Islam as well. Oh, that's all right, then. Islamic beliefs. Pig. Was a zombie? Yep. Total <gasps> zombie. Projection there. I believe Jesus was born out of wedlock. Isn't that good conception by God? Also, Muhammad. Can he pray to you too? Sure, why not? I'm just an atheist, uh, Tom. Like, in all honesty, I have no issue with organized religion. You're just an idiot. On the whole. Like, in general, I don't... He's an idiot. He's an idler. He's a loafer. He's uneducated. He lives off a woman. He's a man-child. He can barely go out the front door by himself. He can't drive. He can't shop for groceries. He can't call the vet for the cats. He can't do anything except bloody well pontificate and blaspheme and offend people. He's a very angry man at everything and everyone around him. 
he needs intensive therapy and I'm not even sure that that would help him at this point. Have an issue with organized religion. Um, what do you pray to say? No. Fuck Satan. Is it necessary? I'm fine, Bally. I am not interested in even a, even for a few months. I'm not really interested in uh, living in the U.S. No, don't anybody offer him accommodation. Doesn't want it. Yeah, like I like I tend to like you know organize religion as you know. It does help plenty of people. It's a source of comfort and strength for a lot of people. Yes, it is. Um, so why belittle it? Most organized religions tend to do a lot of charity work. You don't. Oh, you're going to get... Even in terms of, even as far as like, oh, organized religion is responsible for war. No, it's... Islam. Greed mainly is responsible for war because they want to the desire for have Islam across the world. Land is responsible for war. That too, yes. That's what's responsible for war. That too. Religion is just used as a justification. So even in terms of that, I'm like I don't really blame organized religion for a lot of the shit that's been done in the name of organized religion. Really. Look at um, 9-11. Even separating women and men is social is okay. Uh, no, I mean, that's something I disagree with. Separating men and women. Well, it's going to happen. The truth is, there's a lot about... You know, there's a lot of... Um, blah de blah de blah blah de blah A lot of blah. aspects about... Islam that I disagree with. I'm sure. Like you're going to have to move out, ducks. Sooner rather than later, ducks. Hello, purple. Uh, if she asks me to, I will. Like what specifically? I mean, like separate, keeping men and women separate. Uh, the general oppression of women. Um, within traditional Islam. Um, He's treading carefully now, watch. Doesn't want to mean to upset Mariam. Why can't they eat pork? Sister Mariam. Well, that sort of goes back to, like, the same reason. I'm pretty sure the real reason they can't eat pork is uh, that pork was really difficult to properly cook. <laughs> No, that's not the reason. That isn't the reason. Considered an unclean animal. Single mother? I'd rather not lose him. So ignorant. Islamic attitudes towards uh, queer people I disagree with. I'm sure you do. Um, disagree with a lot, as I do, but you're treading so carefully now. Because of Sister Mariam, who is going to kick you out. Oh, she won't, Candy. Yes, she will. And lo and behold, Pete gets a text message from Sister Mariam, no less. Uh, no specific moving plans yet, Rebecca. No sooner said. Well, apparently we do have specific moving plans. <laughs> hey, kill face. Mm. So there you go. Poor Pete. Hey. Oh, I haven't got my lights on again. Poor Pete, not, he's old enough.
to get a job. He wants a job in a library. He wants a job in a bookstore. Maybe he's going to have to start by taking a job. A job is a job is a job, like so many other people do. And even if it isn't exactly what he feels he is owed. And therein lies everything. Pete feels he is owed a living. He is owed accommodation. He is owed respect. Sorry, not the way life works. And not the way your life's going to work out from here on in, I guess. You're going to have to get up off your backside and start moving for yourself, my dear. That'll be a first. You know, without having the um, ability to depend on foodie. Although I know she's let you down before. But nevertheless... She's always been there for you, hasn't she? In one way or another. It's not going to be the case from here on in. If she's still cosplaying the Sister Mariam role. You know. You've got the boot, mate. Got the boots. <laughs>